Welcome to the tutorial for the Best Bean Buyer app. I first would, would like to thank our sponsor, the Kentucky Soybean Promotion Board, for funding the development of this app. Our goal was to develop a tool that would assist you in determining the best market to deliver soybeans that would maximize the net price received when factoring in all costs such as hauling and discounts. So let's begin. Once you have downloaded the Best Bean Buyer app at either the Apple or Google store, click on the app to open it. Once loaded, the first place you want to go is My Info, and on this tablet here, the My Info tab is here in the middle. You'd click that. This would be the housing for all of your uh, information. Um, it's anticipated that most of this information would be only have to load, be loaded at the beginning of the season. So, for instance, your labor cost per hour, you could click right there and adjust that. Right now we have that set at $12 an hour. You have your fuel cost. You have operating costs. That's um, basically a cost for repair and maintenance. So if you have a relatively uh, new haul truck, you can uh, have that as a low cost. As you can see, that's a drop down and you can choose low, medium, or high, okay? Also, you'd have to uh, enter in some of your hauling uh, information, so how uh, your average speed for your truck, you can see here it's 45 miles an hour, and the miles per gallon located here at seven miles per gallon. So those all can be adjusted, as well as your truck capacity. So if you can haul roughly 250 bushels of soybeans, you can adjust that total capacity there. And last but not least is grain moisture. That grain moisture is the current grain moisture of that load of soybeans. This would be the only thing anticipated that you would change load to load after entering this uh, information into my info. So you would go into this and adjust that based on the current moisture content of that load of soybeans. Once done, you can click over here to my elevator. We have preloaded the elevators that accept wet grain delivery of soybeans um, for the state of Kentucky. Not all elevators in the state of Kentucky are in here, just those that we have preloaded at this time. Let's just say you're interested in the two CGB locations of Louisville and Madison, okay? You would call up the local, those two elevators and get their price and wait time. You would hit the arrow, come here to edit, and type in the price and the wait time. Again, as you can see, the moisture discounts are preloaded for you. And even under this, if you hit edit again, you can see the moisture discount schedules below the CGB Louisville elevator. You would hit save close out and go here to CGB Madison, hit edit, enter that price and that wait time. Again, their discount schedule is loaded. You would hit save and then you would go up here and hit, once the information is loaded, you'd hit estimate using current location. It is important to note that the app will not work properly if your device is not connected to Wi-Fi or cellular services. The app uses your location to determine hauling cost based on a mapping software similar to Google Maps. If the app cannot determine your location, then the app will not work and an error message will appear. If an error message does occur, make sure your location settings on your device are on and you have cell or Wi-Fi services. Once you do that, it then lists the elevators by the best price, best net price received based on those hauling costs and discount costs. As a breakdown also provided to you below here is the total cycle time, total net price, so that's the total net price of that entire load of soybeans, the price per bushel, net price per bushel, the market offering price, and then all of the per bushel costs associated with hauling 
to CGB Louisville. Also available, you can see up the top here, you can sort those elevators by distance from your current location. So if you only wanted to see those elevators that were preloaded less than 100 miles from your current location, it would provide that for you, or less than 50. You also have the ability to go in and if you will never deliver to one of these elevators, you would click here, edit, and you have the ability to delete that elevator off the screen so you don't have to view it. In addition, if you do not see an elevator that you'd like, you have this add elevator button up here at the top. You can click here, you would enter your elevator name, the latitude and longitude, which can be found using Google Maps, the current price and wait time, and the moisture discount. So their base moisture here that's required and discount method. So here you can see you have dollar per bushel, percent of weight and price, or shrink and dry. Then you would hit save and that elevator would be saved to your list. In addition, you have this My Location button here at the bottom. So if you click that, you can add a location. So if you're always going from one field or multiple fields, you can save those fields. You don't have to physically be in that location to be able to estimate the cost. So if a lot of your business decisions come from the office, we can preload the locations of your field into the app and then estimate the location from that instead of be physically being in that location. So in summary, once you've loaded the app, you go to My Info, load that appropriate information. Again, the only thing that would need to be changed from load to load would be your grain moisture content. Then you would go over to your elevator tab, call your local elevators that you're interested in, get their current price and current wait time, enter those into each elevator here, click save and hit estimate current location. It will then sort those elevators with the first one you see being the best net price received when you factor in all of the costs for hauling and discounts. Also, it's good to remember that your information will be saved. Even if you close out the app, uh, your information will be kept in there, so you will not have to enter that into the app every time once it's open. With that, this concludes the tutorial. Hopefully this app will be a tool that you can use to make improved management decisions and provide you information regarding the best market to sell your sorbines.